I'm fake Robin Leach, and today we're going to talk about Yacht Club, the epitome of opulence on MSC's seashore, now in Port Canaveral. These people were riding the elevator up and down because it was so opulent. They could not figure, they did not want to get off. It was so opulent in that elevator, they wanted to stay on all day. So you are escorted up in the elevator for some reason. There's no separate line, maybe because it was raining. And then this guy yelled at us and told us to go see Ethel. And Ethel would set us up for the opulence in Yacht Club. This guy tried to skirt the line and go into the Yacht Club. No, 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 sir. You cannot go in the Yacht Club line if you are not in Yacht Club. Come back here. Bring that bus back because we are ready to party at this point. I'm ready to get my legs rubbed with oranges and experience the ultimate in opulence. My massage began here. <laughs> So being a Yacht Club guest entitles you to get angry, not you get angry, but other people to get angry at you for bypassing all the lines because of the opulence. And you can see all these people are waiting, sitting down patiently, and we're getting fed and served uh, bubbly while we're sitting down, getting ready to be the first ones on the ship. It's just one of the examples of the opulence that you will experience in Yacht Club on MSC Cruises. They know we're here? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheerio. Cheerio. Oh my god, look at all those people. They have to wait? <laughs> so as soon as you've had 8 or 12 glasses of bubbly, you start walking down the glass walkway while all these wow. people are still waiting to get their cruise cards. And all the other upland people here are in the hallway getting ready to board first. And of course you are initially, yes, they, they address me as captain and whatever, and you're escorted directly into the Yacht Club facility where your opulence will begin. There's almost always at least two concierge waiting for your every need. And they anticipate, they just read your mind. They're like psychic. They have crystal balls behind the counter and they know exactly what you're going to need and when you're gonna need it. The opulence is outstanding. This is the Yacht Club Lounge. This is where you have your drinky pools. You're not allowed to bring any food from the outside restaurants in here, which we got yelled at for for bringing pizza in, so don't do that. And upstairs on the second level, you'll see the Yacht Club restaurant exclusively. All this area is exclusively for Yacht Club members. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Ooh, good ones. Yes. Thank you very much. Hey, madam. Something for you? Like not? Nope. No. Unless you want something. I'm good. <laughs> huh? Hello. <laughs> you notice those drinky pools are more than just doubles. <laughs> look at the opulent crystal and the staircases. Now don't look down because you'll get a little confused. Now you can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner in the Yacht Club restaurant, including on boarding day. There's a beautiful lunch served there. The menus are available in the Yacht Club app. Oh, wait, in the MSC, I thought they had a Yacht Club app. <laughs> How silly of me. But you'll find the utmost in opulence in this area. All right, this is our suite. We have a grand suite, 19012. It's not the owner's suite because, uh, well, we wanted to come down on the opulence so you could see what you might experience. Normally, well, never mind. And look at the room, plenty of room to spread out and enjoy and even entertain. Bring some guests in your room, enjoy some champagne, some bubbly, some opulence. Look at the patio. You can sit out here. You actually never have to leave the Yacht Club facility, your entire cruise. A beautiful extended, oh, you could play footsies out here on your balcony too. Ooh, look at that, a beautiful view. And it's always port side, too, or the even side. So just remember, not always, but your butler's phone number's there and the mini bar in the fridge. It's completely included. You can empty this out, as we did try to do here. We did a little experiment. What we do is empty the entire mini fridge and hide it in our suitcase <laughs> and tell them we wanted Italian Coca-Cola and uh, bubbly water. And we came back the next day, and there it was. Our refrigerator was refilled to our specifications. They give you one little can of Pringles as a complimentary gift, and the rest of them you have to buy. Of course, you've got your fuzzy slippers, and uh, I've got a fuzzy on my camera lens, but don't look at that. Here's the television set. I'll do a separate review. There's not much on TV here on the tube. You don't want to watch it. It does not swivel out. 
but you can see it clearly from the bed. You do have a hair dryer in here. Of course, the American outlet's too close together to use more than just one, which is ridiculous. So bring yourself an adapter for the European system and you'll have plenty of horsepower, one on the other side too. They seem to not like American outlets on this cruise line. I don't know why. Maybe something with them being located in Switzerland. Who knows? I don't know what's going on there. But um, listen, this little adapter will save you. You can plug in all your phone charges and all your opulent electronics because I know for a fact you are a person of dignity and you probably hey, they have a wireless charger here too. I don't know where I was going with that, but never mind. So we're going through the Yacht Club Grand Suite and look, it's a walk-in closet with plenty of opulent shelving, storage and drawers and hangers for your cat. Look at my Admiral's jacket, it fits nicely. And you have another closet, it's unbelievable. I almost cut my finger off there, it was so opulent. Plenty of storage for your shoes, for your knickknacks, you can even hang your underwear. And look at the bathroom. The epitome of opulence. You knew I was going to say that. Didn't look, the toilet flushes. Listen. Mm. And the shower. I mean, look, as a person of opulence, of course you have a rain shower head in your exclusive bath at home, but why not have one on the open seas? Unbelievable. Nice, beautiful, marbly, granity, whatever these floors are made of. Nicey, nicey, soft, smooth, and slippery, so be careful in there. And that is the Grand Suite. Lovely, no? Now, if you go up to Deck 20, only Yacht Club people can get to Deck 20. So you have to be very, very exclusively, you know what I'm going to say, opulent to get up to Deck 20 because you'll find the lounge, little tiny areas for you to sit. Later in the day, they make all this up and you can sit in these little cabanas. It's first come, first serve. And they have their own little buffet for breakfast and lunch out here. And this is one of the few places you can get smoked salmon every morning and every afternoon. I think I nearly turned into a smoked salmon with all I ate there. They have their own exclusive pool. It's lovely, not too big, but you really don't need it. It's more of a place just to cool off and chill. Not much shade up there. And there are two hot tubs, one on the side over here, I believe this is the port side, and uh, one in the front of the ship. Now the Yacht Club is exclusively in the front of the ship, so you'll be able to see exactly where you're going. And like me, you can pretend you were driving the ship. Here's the uh, buffet and the bar sitting out here too. This guy's talking to himself, very, very interesting character. And uh, you could walk around the side here and you'll see the other hot tub on the front of the ship. A nice place just to sit and uh, depending on what direction you're going, seeing the sunrise or sunset, and just stare at the beautiful teal blue ocean and the beautiful skies above you. Because when you're here in Yacht Club, you, again, are at the epitome, at the forefront, at the plateau of opulence. Now, sadly, the Yacht Club beach is still a little too rocky to put your tender little opulent feet on. Now, I understand they're going to do some work on this thing in uh, early 2024 to try to clean some of this up and maybe put some kind of a breakwater or a break wind or whatever breaking things they're going to put in the wall so you don't break your toes anymore. This is the Covered Yacht Club restaurant, incredibly slow with this staff. They didn't even know we were there sitting there. We had to eat a shell and we shared that and one can of water that we recycled. And eventually we did get our opulent meals and they were okay, except you notice we have no drinks because it was uh, not the waiter's problem. Hello. Hello, sir. I would like to order a $9 smiling fish with vanilla. Uh, sir, just a moment, let me check. Oh. Uh, uh, Uh-oh. Oh shit. Sir, sir, at the moment they are not operating on only regular phones right now. No smiley fish? No smiley but do you have vanilla this time? Yeah. Only key lime and coconut, sir. Come on. Thank you. I have to tell you, I believe that's the last time I will ever try to get a Smiling Fish ice cream cone. I don't think they exist. I think they're elusive. I think maybe they're extinct. Who knows? So in the spa, you have access as a Yacht Club member, as a Yacht Club guest, 
you have access to the thermal spa, which is not everything in the spa. You can't get massages for free, but you do get priority check-in or some kind of craziness for that. But they have a thermal area that has some interesting little places you can hide. You do have to make a reservation. I think they limit it based on the number of guests, but here's what it looks like. Oh, is this where we cry? Just, yeah, no, no not this one. Okay. You're not crying here, though. All right. For the shower. Oh. Cold rain. Can I cry in here? Of course, under the shower. Yes. Cold rain. Yes. You're going to cry if you get in here and it's cold. Yeah, nobody will use it. Nobody uses this one. Okay. This is wonderful. I love this. I love this. your driveways in Colorado, you can come in the snow room and give it a- ah! I got shoveled. You can drive. What does it do? <laughs> so this is salt room. It's for the land. Shovel's not here. Do you have a pepper room? No, Just salt? Can I walk in here? Does it hurt? I don't know. I oh, I like it in here. Negative ions. Nobody will see you. Dark sensory steam bath. Are you crying? Are you sensory? Are you crying? I, no, I am leaving this. You are? I love them. I am leaving this. Don't leave. So apparently this spa was the sensory area because the woman immediately to our left would not talk to me at all. I think she was having a good cry. I'm not sure what's going on in there. I felt bad for her. Offered to buy her a drink, but she had a drink package too. What are you going to do? Anywho, uh, it's a nice place to hang out. Again, you do have to make reservations. And of course, once you have too many reservations or imbibations, this could happen. So don't let this happen to you. But if you're in your yacht club, they'll clean you up and put you into your bed safely. It's wonderful. All right. And once you sleep that one off, you'll be able to go to the cocktail party and meet all the officers aboard your ship who are enabling your opulent lifestyle. You'll get to meet the head chef and uh, whoever she is and a couple of other people here I have no idea and I've never seen before. Of course, the captain of the ship is there. He is accessible. You can take some pictures. Here's the director of the yacht club. He, uh, well, we might have to have a little discussion to kind of smooth things up. up, up, up. And this guy, uh, I think he's in charge of uh, air or something. Who knows? But your captain's there, and he has a microphone, and maybe he'll sing, do a little soft shoe for you. Who knows? But I hope you enjoyed this tour of Yacht Club on MSC Seashore, and we hope to meet you, too, and the opulence of Yacht Club on the Seven Seas sometime in the future. I'm fake Robin Leach. Good night. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. You are, you are better staying on, uh, on the uh, Yacht Club. So I would like to thank you for choosing MSC Cruises and MSC Seashore for your vacation at sea. I really hope that you're going to enjoy this cruise. Weather is going to be better, I'm sure, in the next few days, in the next few hours as well. So enjoy your cruise. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.